here again. Just a quick bit of an update on um, the tractor as it's going along and through at the moment. It's very close to its 250 hour complete service. Um, but today I've been back on the, uh, the flail mower. Now, I'd never used a flail mower prior to this. Um, always just general slashes um, or finishing type mowers, never a, never a flail mower. Now, um, I was actually at the, uh, the front of the paddock here and a fellow uh, pulled up out of the blue and waved me on over and I jumped off the track and went over and that and he said I can see what your problem is from uh, on the road and I said what's that and he said on the back of the actual mower where the roller is he said is there still a um a piece of steel along the back and I went yeah it's still there that's what it came with well he said bugger that off and you'll get better cutting better everything really quick you won't do as many belts and I've done a number of those. So um, basically as I went down and through, I went in and uh, took off the piece he told me about. And I've basically got this thing going like nearly as low as it can go. Um, and it's just cutting everything really, really fine. Uh, I will drop it down again later on, but he said while I've still got a bit of long stuff, keep it up somewhat um, and slow down as I'm going through the longer gear. So just a, a simple stranger has actually just given me some information that I was completely unaware of. Um, and as for the shortness of the grass, um, it's really short. I mean, again, it will be a lot shorter than this. And it goes through and it chops up all of the, the grass and that a, a couple of times as it goes through. But it also chews up quite large branches as well. Just make sure that they're not too long, otherwise, they will stick into the actual machine itself. The uh, bar that came on the actual unit, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not a manufacturing fault or anything like that. It comes down to um, if you are cutting very, very thin lawn and you weren't using obviously um, tractor tires, you're using grass type tires on big greens or something like that or big open areas, that's when you would leave that little bar in there um, but with what I'm doing, because I'm cutting down things that are sometimes up to two and a half inches in diameter with a file mower, and it does it quite well, you've just got to take it steady. It's not meant for chopping down trees. Um, but basically, the gentleman told me that, um, again, that little bar on the back is mainly for when you're cutting bowl lawns or, or, or golf courses and stuff like that. But you'd obviously have a different set of tyres front and back. Anyway, bye for now. We'll get back to you later.